Do you know that headphones can't be listened separately? Music is double channel. The sound on the left and right is different. The song won't be the same if we separate it. This is like love, it won't be felt the same, but both lovers' parts are indivisible. Unfortunately, many couples don't understand this. The two people standing were a couple five years ago. Kinu was a college student at that time. She was a girl who loves reading books without too much desire for money. She was not interested in what most people liked, and liked to see exhibitions and other niche performance. Mugi was also a college student, he didn't understand the game of rock, paper, scissors. Rock can break the paper easily, so why can't rock win? Also in an old apartment where people trying to have ends meet, why people would still send real estate flyers that is worth of 20 million. Different from other guys, Mugi liked to stay alone to draw comics. Also liked to watch those niche performance. One night, Kinu was invited to KTV, looking at all kinds of girls who tried to socialize with each other, and a group of guys who tried to look capable in front of girls. She just can't fit in. Meanwhile, a middle-aged man began to talk about his surgery experience to her. Every time coming to this kind of activities, Kinu would ask herself, why would I even come here? Mugi also had the same feeling as Kinu. He was dragged to the KTV. Just when he was about to sneak out, he was pushed back to the middle by his classmates. After the party was over, Kinu dragged her tired body to subway station. At this time, Mugi also came out from KTV. They bumped into each other, but they didn't catch the last subway. So they decided to go to a bar with other two people. They didn't know each other, so the atmosphere was becoming a little awkward. The other two were bragging things, Mugi couldn't really relate. Suddenly, he saw his idol sitting not far away. He covered his mouth with excitement, but the other two were confused. Mugi felt like he couldn't be understood, so he fell silent. But at this time, Kini seemed to have found her same kind. Then the other two people chatted and took a car to the hotel. Kinu felt that she should tell this boy that she was also very happy. Just like that, they finally found someone who can truly understand each other. They all liked wearing white shoes and hated twisted earphone cables. Liked writing. Liked reading books. Liked to use movie tickets as bookmark. They even missed the same niche performance. So they went to sing and walked home together. While getting to know each other more, they found more similarities. They liked the same author. They didn't understand the rules of rock, paper, scissors. I met a person who was another version of myself. Yugi felt like he found his soulmate. Kinu felt the same. It's raining, they came to Muji's place. Kinu was attracted by Muji's bookshelf as soon as she entered his room. Excitement and shining stars in her eyes. This was simply a duplicate of her own bookshelf. Then they watched a short film made by Mugi about natural gas tanks. Late night, Mugi made roasted rice balls for her. Kinu them fell to sleep after eating. The next morning, after sending Kinu to the bus station, she invited him to go to the exhibition together. When she got home, Kinu can't wait to close the curtain and laid down. She wanted to stay in that beautiful night. Last night, she also looked his comic book. She was amazed by those cute characters, and sincerely said, I like your comics. It was raining outside the window, the street lamp was cut into pieces. She listened to the rain and looked at Muji's book. Mugi was worried that she would catch a cold, so he brought a hair dryer from the bathroom, started to dry her hair, King felt like something was about to start. The sound of her heartbeat even covered the sound of the hair dryer. The next day, at the exhibition, they were surprised to find they were wearing the same color coat, carrying the same bag. After seeing the exhibition, they went to eat and couldn't stop talking about everything. It's time to catch the last subway again. On the crowded subway, Mugi was carefully protecting Kinu. Kinu wondered, is he taking me only as a friend? Mugi also doubted Kinu's feeling to himself. It's believed, if you date three times and haven't confessed, you would be taken as a good friend gradually. But they were very sure that they liked each other. Both of them were very determined. The next day, they went to see natural gas tanks. They had a meal and chatted for an hour before the last subway. They each had a headset and listened to romantic music. Just when the atmosphere was right and ready to confess their feelings, a man next to them interrupted them. Don't you know that you can't use headphones separately? 
and the man spent the next hour lecturing them. The last subway was coming, they were about to leave. The waiter brought a dessert they didn't order, but they decided to keep it. When they took the picture, Mugi finally asked, Are you willing to be my girlfriend? Hi. Zahi. On the way home, they also shared what they didn't like. At the intersection, the traffic light did not change green. The atmosphere became subtle while waiting. Mugi held Kinu's hand and kissed her. The traffic light still hadn't changed to green. Of course not, this was a manual traffic light. The next week, they went to the art gallery, had their portraits drawn. On a windy night in March, they got laid with each other. Kinu stayed at his place for three days, didn't go to school or attend the employment briefing. They stayed in bed all day and did it many times. Here, and there. After running out of food, Kinu finally went home. Suddenly, Kinu found a love blogger she was following committed suicide. Although the flower of love was easy to perish, but she had confidence that her love would survive. After going home, Yugi picked a photo and asked Kinu, What kind of flower is this? Kinu said, If a girl tells a boy the name of a flower, every time the boy sees that flower in his life, he will think of that girl. She then ran away with a smile. That summer, she kept looking for a job. She would wear high heels and wander in this busy city. They rented a small apartment near the subway. The scenery outside the window was astonishing. They started to decorate their place. Even a furniture decoration could make them happy for a long time. Soon, a warm and cute house was done. Two cute white shoes laying at the door, witnessing this lovely moment. Not far from home, there was a bakery opened by an old couple. They loved the bread there. They ate the bread and touched the flowers on the beautiful beach. Soon after, Kinu came to work in the ice cream shop. They waited for the subway every day. Then the 30 minutes walking back home became their most precious time. On Christmas, they exchanged Christmas gifts. The gifts were all headphones. On weekends, they would eat snacks and read comics. Laughing and crying together, they didn't even go home on New Year's Eve. They ate noodles together. When they went out that night, they found a stray cat. They named it Baron. This spring, Yugi and Kinu graduated. Mugi gradually had a kind of anxiety. He wanted to live on drawing comics, but three comics could only sold 1,000. It's impossible to support their life. On this day, Kinu's parents suddenly visited. Kinu's mother said, The society is like taking a bath. It's troublesome before you step in, but you will feel enjoyed after. There is a responsibility to be living together. Three days later, Mugi's father came back from his hometown. He wanted to let his son go back to the fireworks factory. Mugi didn't want to go back, so his father cut his living expenses. Without financial support, Mugi decided to find a job. He said, I thought we will be like this forever. But if we don't have money, we can't buy books or watch movies. Kinu also started preparing for the accounting qualification exam. This summer, whether it's the release of new movies or any rest day, they were all trying to be like any other adult. Kinu found a job first, Mugi was still looking for it. After work, in order not to be isolated, Kinu, who didn't like social places, had to go to the company party. In the messy social atmosphere, Kinu felt uncomfortable. Just now, Yugi called, he finally got an offer. It's a logistics company. Yugi said, you filled our first two years with happiness. Hope it's gonna last forever. My life goal is to keep up this happiness with you. But just started going to work. Yugi adapted to a busy routine. No time to watch movie, no party no study, and no game. All he could think about was work. Kinu bought the tickets for a stage drama, but Mugi had to go on a business trip. She said, it's okay, your work is more important. But the unspoken pressure made them suffocated. They were concealing their feelings and couldn't vent out complaints. Then they had a quarrel for the first time. It's Christmas again, they went to watch a movie. Kinu was so into it, but Mugi was not. Kinu wanted to share a novel with Mugi in the bookstore, but she found that he was looking at the odds of life. Kinu felt a huge gap was beginning to form. Suddenly, Mugi proposed to her, but she felt ridiculous to marry a person who had never had sex with her for three months. What were he thinking? She didn't understand. She wanted to get back the feeling when they first met. On the other side of the bed, 
Mugi thought she never wanted to spend a lifetime with him. The time came to 2018. The days together became dull, they barely spoke with each other all day. Even Baron felt that boredness. This day, Kinu saw the bakery they often went to was closed forever. She sent a photo to Mugi. After all, that's where they left their memories together. But Mugi was really in a bad mood at the time, so he replied that just go to another bakery then. For a moment, Kinu suddenly felt a sense of sadness. She thought it was a very important bakery for him too, but in fact, only she thought so. Mugi was framed at work, his boss asked him to take the blame. As a newbie, he had to work overtime to compensate. He laid down in office, playing with mobile games. Mugi suddenly remembered the happy days before, also remembered the promise. My life goal is to keep up this happiness with you. At night, Kinu told Mugi that she found a new job. It's a planning company that operated Escape Room. But Mugi laughed. Escape Room is just playing. Kinu said, turns play into work, turns work into fun. Isn't that good? This is the job I enjoy. Mugi replied with a heavy tone. Work is not games. The client tells me to die and spits at me. Sometimes I feel like I'm born to be sorry. Mugi sighed, looking at the book on the shelf. He suddenly realized that he hadn't read for a long time. He was envious her that she could still insist on reading. Kinu wanted to let him rest, but he yelled back. I can't rest, I can't read anymore. I only play meaningless mobile games. But this is also for us, I am willing to sacrifice. But trying to live on your hobby, only make people feel that you are looking down on life. <laughs> Listening to Muji's resentful proposal, Kinu couldn't bear it, it's totally different from what she imagined. The two fell into a cold war. Muji's boss died soon after. That night, Mugi wanted a shoulder to rely on, but Kinu went to bed early without saying anything. Mugi played games alone, sat along the river until late night, and fell asleep with tears. The next morning, Kinu took the initiative to speak, but Mugi thought it was no longer important. Without getting respond, she also felt it was not important. For Kinu's confusion, her boss said, Love won't last forever, there is always a shelf life. Compared to one person's loneliness, one couple's loneliness is even worse. Just break up and find another one. That night, the two of them embraced each other tightly. They hadn't seen the dark sky together for a long time. After another friend's wedding in 2019, the two decided to break up. They hardly talked to each other, can't even fight, but they were still highly in tune. They all realized that they wanted to end this relationship, but didn't know where to start. In the end, they finally sat together. Both of them had regrets when thinking about their happy memories. Yugi said, we should get married instead. After marriage, we can live together like before. Even if you are not happy, you can pretend everything is the same and continue our relationship. Isn't that what most couples do? But Kinu asked, is it really what you desire? Are you satisfied? Yugi replied, I am. We won't always keep this passion as before. If you want to pursue that perfection, you won't be happy. If we become a family now, I think we will be fine. Have a child, the child calls me dad, calls you mom. Three or four family members, holding hands, go for a walk along the river. Push a baby car to the mall, buy a car to go to picnic, spend time together. Spend our life together, we will be a great family. Kinu must admit that Mugi was right. This was what most people have in their relationship. But Kinu didn't want to compromise like this. She would rather separate. While talking, two young people who just met sat nearby. They were exactly the same as Mugi and Kinu first met. They had a lot of similarities. Same hobbies, same white shoes, same habits. Mugi and Kinu looked at them like they were watching their love replay. They both shed sad tears. Those heartbeats and pure love were so close, but also seemed so far away. <laughs> But after breaking up, they still lived together for three months because they didn't find suitable place yet. They would eat together, watch movies together, drink bubble tea together, move house together like old time. A year later, both have a new lover. They will still wait back in tacit agreement. 
When it's raining, Kinu will think of the scene. Mugi helped her blowing her hair. One day, Mugi found his and Kinu's figure on Google Map. The two holding the unknown flowers and their love was forever frozen at that beautiful moment. We Made a Beautiful Bouquet is released in 2021. The movie gives us a perfect love dream, but also wakes us up at the end. Although the flower is beautiful, but when the flowering period ends, it will wither. Many people will never meet true love in their entire life. It takes one in a million chance to meet someone who is completely in sync. It also takes one in a million chance that the person in sync can be with you to the end. But we must know, all the beautiful things in the world will come to an end. Because life is limited, so it's precious. Because freedom is limited, so it is worth pursuing. Because love is limited, so it also needs to be cherished. That's today's movie. If you like it, don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.